Uh, two extra features here uh, accelerating your clip and freeze frame so basically freeze frame is probably the one you're wondering uh, so basically freeze frame what it does it freezes one frame of your recording uh, so let me just there you go so basically you have your clip here and um, you wanna exactly at the moment you're, you're talking and then you wanna stop the clip uh, because you you don't have enough time to talk or something, so you can just right click exactly where you are and then say add, um, add freeze frame. Basically, what it's gonna do is gonna take a frame of your video and uh, it's gonna stop and then continue. So as you see, it stops and then it starts over again. So yeah, that's basically for the freeze frame. It's uh, just taking a frame and taking that as a picture. So then uh, for another feature is accelerating your clip which I really wanted to have in the new screen flow. Uh, I always thought that was one of the main features missing in the, the other screen flow and I thought they could have did that before but now it's good because they've gotten a new screen flow. So it's really easy to insert an uh, accelerated clip. So Just click on the clip and then you can or double click the clip or you can right click it and do show clip inspector. Uh, here you can choose the duration. So, for example, if you want to take, you want to make it that it only takes three seconds. Automatically going to accelerate it to a certain percent that your clip does say uh, stay three seconds. Or you can just uh, slide this thing around and accelerate the clip as ever you want it. Or you can just slow it down as well, of course. So uh, I'm just going to show you accelerated clip. Though what I have noticed, if you go on higher than 200%, uh, you have a chance that the audio, uh, you, it removes the audio of the clip sometimes if you accelerate too much. So I'm just going to show you what it does. So as you see, that was a very accelerated clip. Uh, I think that's really cool. You can, of course, slow it down, uh, and then it's going to do a uh, uh, uh. It's going to do... Uh, everything slow. So you see everything slow. Uh, so that's for accelerating your clip and all that. So let's go right to the next. So right now I'm just going to show you a few features, uh, which are smaller features but still really handy, and just a few uh, small features right here. So just quick. Uh, for example, here if you got a clip of your eyesight, you basically got your image and your sound in one clip. So you can now detach the audio off your clip, so just right click the clip and do detached audio. So it's going to only give you one thing for the uh, image and one thing for the sound, uh, which can be handy in some cases uh, if you need that. So another cool feature now, if you save your uh, project, it's going to save all the media with it. So before you had to um, keep the media at the same place if you're adding media if you want it to like ex uh, finish editing the next day you have to refine the, the media I hope you get what I mean basically now you've got an all in one package and all in this um, in the project which does increase the size of the project but I think it's still quite handy uh, to not every time have to save everything on the same place if you want to continue editing uh, can be quite handy Another thing that they added in the preferences, uh, just go to ScreenFlow preferences. If it so in the preferences, you got a new feature which is the pause hotkey. So you can choose a hotkey for pausing if there's a long process in your video and you don't want to record that obviously. So you can just add a hotkey for that. So I'm just gonna do Shift Command One, uh, and basically you've got an extra pause hotkey. Uh, can be handy. So uh, here you don't have a lot of like big new features in the preferences uh, though. So as well in a few new features is in the exporting thing um, you can while exporting you can choose only to export one clip one part so just select that part and then only export the selecting, uh, selected stuff or you can uh, as well the exporting is a little bit faster with multi-pass encoding and uh, that's more for the advanced stuff and as well uh, if you have a multi cores machine so dual core quad core uh, eight core uh, it's gonna go about 25 percent faster um, exporting than uh, the previous versions which can be quite handy uh, there are a lot of other features which I did not mention I'll put there this page with all the features in the web uh, in the sidebar 
to the left. Yeah. Uh, so basically, you can see all the new features, drag and drop. Oh yeah, maybe I should show you that too. If you wanna add the media before you had to drag and drop in the timeline, and now you can drag and drop it right on the screen. If you wanna do that, uh, can be handy if you're using that a lot. Um, so there are a few new keyboard shortcuts as well. Uh, if you use a lot of shortcuts like me, I like that a lot. And um, some timeline performance, export performance, and yeah, that's basically it. So I showed you all the main features, and uh, yeah, that's it for ScreenFlow 2.0. I covered all the features. Thanks for watching. Please leave comments, rate, subscribe. Peace.